Right. Everything about right. it's a beat. I don't even rap. Right. So what is this? K-pop bitch, y'all. I'm already ready. Red right, y'all, I am checking out Coup d'etat by G Dragon. This one is the intro to his album Coup d'etat, which I have checked out over on Patreon. Top link down below in the description if you guys want to check it out with me. But either way, there's a couple of songs from the album that I skipped on the initial album reaction, and I wanted to post the reaction for the music videos here with y'all. I am on Dorian Gray, which you guys told me this channel is the greatest lyric channel for G Dragon stuff. So hopefully it helps me out. This is from 2013. Let's see what is going on. I quite enjoyed the different songs that were on this album album and also enjoyed the documentary that i checked out as well his kwan jiang one so we're on a g dragon kick right now and hopefully this can continue as we check out the rest of the music videos from this album now can i just unscrew this if you guys enjoyed this video at the end of it please drop a like it helps me out a lot and a comment down below let's go ahead and see what's going on oh the quality is good too dope guadalupe is here just in case the song is fuego but this album seemed kind of experimental or maybe just again it just had a wide range of stuff on here also it's stuff that i don't typically listen to so we got to see if this one will be one that catches my butt. Okay, so we're in this like dystopian dystopian world of sorts where a revolution is necessary. And I'm assuming that's GD there. And he's the only one outside the wall standing on all this rubble with no shoes on. Now the question is, is he wanting to get in this? What is that? Oh, ew. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, okay, wait, wait. I, this is gonna be one I feel like I'm gonna have to watch multiple times. I seem like there's like especially with all these cuts there's like stuff that's going on why is that rock a different color now he's in here the red glove over the heart what does that mean he's at somebody's grave uh. oh was that his grave was that him standing on top Wait, wait, wait. This is a line from a famous commercial. He is referring himself as a new boiler because he's hot and successful. Okay. Oh. oh. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, wait. I love the hair. Oh, is that like a cow or a callback? Okay, it is. I love that. I'm so fresh, so clean. Set that sword on young Jing. And my flow so sick. To one dash. Oh, my goodness. 2013. <laughs> okay, so what are you the orchestrator of this? Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, it's a callback. Another one to the Hardbreaker Project. What the fuck? Wait. Oh. Gosh, dang, dude. So this is like... Yeah, it's just a bunch of symbolism and stuff that I didn't think was symbolism. It's probably symbolism. This is...
So what are you saying? Is this not the the Heartbreaker album, the debut album? He's saying that's not him and this is him, the Beast Within or something like. And oh shoot, I I I, I really just don't understand. Like this scene is nuts. This scene is literally crazy. So is this? Look at how <laughs> this is insane. Actually, this. Okay, so with his hairstyle and all this blending into the wall, clearly he pops out, right? But not only is this Heartbreaker mask from his album Heartbreaker a mask, but it's also his first album. So is he saying that he wasn't being himself like this? He's not being himself or wasn't himself in that first album. This is who is really behind the mask. Who's in the black? This is this is him, I, I, I guess. But then, and what is this the... Is this him, the real him, leaking out? I don't, and then he crushes the facade. Like, he's like, I'm, I'm done with this facade. And then he breaks it. And is he in all black because he's been living in the shadows? Because the mask had the forefront of everything? I, uh, what? That was actually really good, especially since he just broke a face and now he's got a broken thing. That's dope. Is he breaking the rock in his hand? Oh no. Ew, ew, what the hell? And the red flags are raised. What in the heck? What? Yo, this is a really, a really artsy video. And again, I, of course, applaud the artistry and the thinking outside of the box when it comes to oh wait yo actually as the, this is the first song on the project so this serves as an intro without being labeled directly as an intro and it's not even the length of a normal intro it's literally three minutes long it's a full song so that's actually quite cool so the coup d'etat is his old his whole album so what is he saying about that what, what, what does that mean what was going on with i don't know the state of music or something what was going on with the state of music in 2013 or maybe with NYG or something to make him feel like this project is a coup d'etat like what is like a revolution and like this was lead the revolution what, what was going on what was happening how do y'all interpret this I know again there's like a lot of things that I probably skipped over and I just didn't understand so I didn't even have the uh, the brain power to commentate or point out but like what is going on what is with all the red ladies um why were everybody in the beginning like all over the windows trying to get to him what was going on there it was with the white trees and the snow falling off of it in the apples like what what does that mean it's like frozen over what what is going on there it was with the girl that was in that black like bird cage thing with the strings and were, were those curses that were in those pots boiling over how did he get chained up in that same room stuck in the wooden oh it's a different room in the dressing room he's just sitting in the middle of the dressing room with all those suits around him i just don't understand and what is the big old ball in this in the circular building and another thing that stood out to me is this scene here with all of the journalists with blindfolds on clearly not just doing whatever they can to get to him is that like a nod to paparazzi or journalists like they literally just blindly follow anything that gives them clicks is like what what does this mean like they're desperate for a life to commentate on or like i don't i don't understand but i guess i should have thought of something like that with like this whole death of things because he put the crows or ravens maybe I'm, I'm assuming they were crows because they were black but they might be ravens on that still scene of him like on the floor on the wall so that symbolizes death so that's like the death of his him his mask his his fake self i i really don't know y'all y'all let me know you guys thoughts and opinions on this down below in the comments man because this one's definitely one to talk about um again we have some other g dragon music videos that should be coming up sometime soon i'm not too sure how this will be scheduled out but definitely look out forward to it if you guys enjoy this man and want more content g dragon big bang anything like that let me know down below in the comment section and also feel free to check out the top link down below because again i do have some other stuff like some album reactions as well as live stages and the gd documentary that i have watched as well so if you guys are interested in that check it out down below if not of course no problem just drop a like on the video and i will catch you guys in the next one take care y'all later